Hey guys, Gokesome for the one here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, we'll be going through Rock Tunnel, but before that, you guys already may have been asking yourselves why well, I'm back in Cerulean City, but we actually have to go get the HM for Flash, which I actually forgot to get a few episodes ago. So, to get it, you actually have to go back to Vermilion City, so I'll see you guys in, in a bit once I actually make it back there. Okay guys, I am in Vermilion City, and we actually have to go through one part before we actually get HM Flash. Um, you don't necessarily have to do this to get through rock tunnels, just I want you guys to be able to see the path and which way I'm actually going. So, actually before we actually continue on here, I'm going to put up a repel because we do not want to run into diglets or anything. That'll be very annoying. And we can actually put up our bike here. I keep forgetting that we have that, but we can definitely move faster than uh, running, that's for sure. So, you travel down diglet cave and once you make it out of here, which diglet cave is actually pretty long. So, more than 50 steps it looks like, and Doug Trios are so annoying, why did we have to run into one of those? He uh, had arena trap, so I actually got trapped into the battle there, but we're going to put up another repel here, so we can actually continue down. And, uh, once we make out here, then we can get, out, get flash, and it's actually the end of the road, I didn't need to put up another repel, I guess it was still kind of useful, but whatever. So, once you make it down there, you actually have to come down here, and you have to have cut to do this, so make sure you actually beat the third gym and all. Uh, I don't know why you guys would be at Rock, Tun Rock Tunnel without being the third gym, but still, you have to go through here, and this scientist right here, when you talk to him, he was the guy, actually, I don't remember him, I think he was in Oak's Lab, but if you have 10 Pokemon, then you'll be able to get the HM for Flash. You have to be able, you have to either catch 10 Pokemon or you have to have 10 Pokemon regist in, registered in your Pokedex, um, which I do here. I actually have 12. I went ahead and caught a few more Pokemon off screen, so I was actually able to do this. So I'll see you guys in a bit once I actually make it back to Rock Tunnel. Okay, guys, I am back, and I actually taught my Pokemon a move Water Pulse, so. We're going to continue on here, and that trainer down there, I actually already fought, so we're not going to worry about her. Um, she's not too hard, don't worry about it. You just fight her, and you get a little bit of EXP. If you die, well, you had a Pokemon Center right next to you, so it didn't really matter. So, I have to teach a Pokemon Flash before we actually continue on here. I forgot to actually do this before we uh, continued on with the episode, but I am going to teach my HM Slave It, Bellsprout right here, Nose Cut, and Flash, so... Pretty useful. Let's get rid of wrap. Maybe we could use Bellsboro for sleep powder or something. I doubt we're ever gonna have to use Bellsboro, but just in case, we we should keep some good moves on this thing. I think it's just gonna be an HM slave for this whole playthrough, but whatever. So the way you use Flash, you go into your party right here. And again, you don't exactly need Flash to get through this cave. The only reason I'm doing it is so you guys don't see a black screen this whole episode. So that's the only reason why. I'm actually going to put a repel up as well. Make sure you stock up on a lot of repels or you will have a lot of trouble in this cave. Uh, you definitely don't want to deal with that. But if you come over here, you'll be able to pick up a repel. Uh, speaking of the devil, you got a repel right there. So if you didn't buy any repels, well, I mean, you got one. You could... You can definitely use that one. So we're going to fight the first trainer here. Okay, guys, I am back. Sorry about that. I had to go do something. So I actually cut out the battle just because I didn't think it was that important. But I battled with Chaotic right here. If you guys are following everything I do, I battled with Chaotic. Took both of his Pokemon out with Chaotic. And now we're going to go ahead and train up our Roshi for the rest of this cave right here. Uh, hopefully, at least. I'm pretty sure Roshi will be able to take out all the Pokemon that... We have to deal with now if you have rock smash you could definitely break these rocks right here to get some uh items even some pokemon like judude and stuff um so if you want to do that you could definitely do that it's an option now we're gonna find another another maniac right here pokemaniac winston's gonna have a level 25 slowpoke now we shouldn't have too much trouble with this slowpoke right here i'm gonna get intimidate off that's fine uh it doesn't really affect anything but since we do have a dark move uh, this Pokemon is pretty defensive, but we'll still be doing a lot of damage to him. Now, Psychic. Psychic on Slowpoke, Slowbro, Slowking. Super good move. Um, stab. Oh, that's not Psychic. Confusion. Confusion is Stab, so you do have to watch out for that. And Bite. Should be able to take him out these next few turns. We did get a flinch, which was nice, so we definitely avoided taking some damage here. And Bite's definitely going to take out the Slowpoke this turn. So... That thing's gonna go down, and that was his only Pokemon on his team. 
we got some pre decent um, EXP from that as well. Now, after you beat that trainer, just continue on down here, and we actually have to put up another repel. Definitely do not want to run into a bunch of Pokemon randomly. Uh, it does get a little bit annoying after a while, but we're going to fight this next trainer right here. Martha, she's going to have two Pokemon on her team, two Grass types, actually, so... It looks like our Gyarados might have a challenge here. I don't think I'm going to switch out, just because it's only a Bulbasaur and an Otis, so I, I don't see us having too much trouble. I think I'm just going to spam um, Bite right here, and then hopefully make it through. So, Bite's going to do a pretty decent amount. We're going to get Flinch right off the bat, which is nice. Hopefully this Oddish doesn't have a Stun Spore, of course. Okay, well, we're going to switch out. The only reason why is because Stun Spore. Definitely outspeeds us now, and I don't want to deal with paralyzing anymore. So we're just going to switch into Robin, take this thing out swiftly, easily, and not have to deal with it anymore. So Sweet Scent, not going to do that much. It's not really going to do the damage at all, actually. Um, Sweet Scent, Sweet Scent's usually. I actually don't know what Sweet Scent. Sweet Scent was, uh, that's kind of a tongue twister in a way. I don't know what it was used for in Gen 3. I know in Gen 6 you actually could uh, attract hordes and stuff uh, of Pokemon. So that was the feature that was added in Gen 6. I don't know if you can attract Pokemon in the wild, uh, like just use it in grass and attract Pokemon. I don't think that was a thing in Gen 3, but it might be, it might be. So we're going to take down that trainer with Robin pretty easily with Peck right there and actually if you come down here you'll actually be able to pick up an item which is a revive and the revive can be pretty useful in this cave if you lose a Pokemon so before we continue on here I'm gonna go ahead and do I have a paralyzed heal it looks like I don't have a paralyzed heal here not even a full heal at that so it looks like we won't be able to heal up our Gyarados I think I'm gonna switch him out no I'm gonna keep him in it doesn't matter that nothing out or he can't outspeed things, just because we still should be able to uh, take out these trainers here and there. We shouldn't have too much trouble with that. So, we're going to ba battle another Pokemaniac right here. And this Pokemaniac actually has two Pokemon that Roshi shouldn't have too much trouble with. A level 22 Charmander and 22 Cubone. So, we're just going to go for Stab right here. Stab Water Pulse. He's going to go for a Medical. I'm not going to do that much damage to us. Of course, we uh, do resist that because we are Water type. And I think, I don't know for sure if flying types resist uh, steals, steel moves, but I'm pretty sure that might be a thing. So he's going to go for a growl right here, lower our attack, doesn't matter, but we get paralyzed! This is what I didn't want to deal with, this is why I wanted to heal up my Pokemon. But lowering our attack and paralyzed again. Gen 3, your RNG, your RNG though. I think it's just in general, um, Gen 6 and 5, I don't think RNG was that bad, but... The gens before, ooh, they were pretty, they were pretty horrible, that, that's for sure. So, Roshi's gonna get some EXP back here. Cubone is gonna come out next, and Cubone we shouldn't have too much trouble with. Unless we get paralyzed a bunch of times, then uh, this critical hit Cubone, which potentially a uh, boomerang, might be able to kill us. But, he's gonna go for a Lee right here, lower our defense, and Water Pulse should be able to take this thing out. It is super effective. Uh, we do have stab and not just quite not quite yet um, Water pulse is a special move and we're not exactly a special attacking Pokemon so I could see why That did not KO, but it's gonna KO this turn, which is nice. Roshi's gonna go up a few Levels right here and yeah that 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 is it man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you but that was it so we're gonna continue back down here and there's actually two trainers you can fight. I'm gonna fight the first hiker up here uh, and then I'm going to go back down and fight the other hiker. These two hikers, we shouldn't have too much trouble with. Onyx and uh, Machop and Geodude. Um, the first trainer here, actually this is the second trainer, so he's going to have a level 20 Machop and a level 20 Onyx. So, we're just going to continue on and go for Bites, or not Bites, um, we're going to go for Water Pulses here. That's really all we are going to do in this cave, that's what I said earlier. I just kind of want to use Roshi, because I was confident he could just sweep through this whole cave pretty easily with um, water pulse here so we're gonna continue on and use more water pulses and Machop pretty good Pokemon to actually pick up at this point in the game if you want a good fighting type he evolves into Machamp for his final evolution he has a evolution before that which is a Machoke and you actually have to trade Machoke to get a Machamp but 
it is worth it in the end. Uh, if you don't have a way to trade, then Machop and Machoke are still pretty good Pokemon you could use. Uh, not better than Machamp, of course, but still a pretty good Pokemon that you you definitely should pick up if you like having a fighting type on your team. There are two other fighting types you get later on in the game that are a little bit better than Machamp in my opinion. Uh, that's just because I'm biased with those two Pokemon, but you could definitely uh, definitely pick up all three of them if you want to as well. So the Zonic is Onyx is going to go down from another Water Pulse right here. Eric is going to give us $720 and we're going to continue on to the next trainer. And before we run into a Pokemon, I do want to put up another Repel right here. Don't want to run into any Zubats or anything that's in this cave. I'm pretty sure, I don't even know if you can run into Zubats in this cave. I know you can run into Geodude, uh, that's for sure, but we are going to go ahead and battle this next trainer. He only has a Geodude on his team, uh, a Geodude, so level 25 one at that, so we shouldn't have too much trouble though, we're going to get that Intimidate off first turn, and Rock Throw, this actually might kill us, and it does just that, Roji, I thought, I thought you'd be able, I think it's more so that he got paralyzed, that's why we weren't able to actually sweep through this whole thing, uh, because that one Oddish, that one Oddish that you had to use Sun Spore, that one Oddish, but we're just going to use Vine Whip right here, take out this Geodude, and I don't think we'll go up a level. Maybe we will. And almost there. Super close to going up to level 33. I'm going to get $900. And I think I'm going to use my revive right here. And the reason for that is because I do want to get my Roshi up to a decent uh, level. So he actually can battle Pokemon without having to switch out here and there. So we're going to do that. So we're going to continue on here. Battle this next hiker. The Psyker has actually four Pokemon on his team, so watch out for that. They're all level 19, three of you dudes, and he'll have a Machop as well. So, you shouldn't have too much trouble with it, but still still a pretty strong team. Geodude can be pretty hard to deal with if you don't have a Water type or a Grass type at that. Uh, so we're just going to go for a Water Pulse right here. Take out this Geodude, one shot. And we actually outspeed now because we got rid of our Paralyze after we died, which is nice. So we might not have as much trouble as we did with the other two Pokemon trainers that we versed earlier. So we're going to go for a Water Pulse right here, take out this Geodude, and I think he has only, he has a Machop left, I know that for sure. So yeah, he only has one more Geodude left, so that's not hard. I was definitely thinking of picking up Geodude and evolving it into a Golem later on, but I don't know, I just saw a Sand Shrew and I was like, no one uses Sand Shrew, so let's just pick up a Sand Slash. My other alternative for a ground type was uh, Nidoran, which I don't know, whoever has been watching this since the beginning, the first episode, the first part that I did, I definitely did hint that I might have picked up, or I might pick up a um, Nidoran. But I'm definitely not going to pick one up now, uh, so don't expect it anymore if you guys were expecting it. Just because I do have Sand Slash now, so uh, that was going to be the only reason why I picked it up. Also, it's a super good special attacking Pokemon, but other than that, um, he's more so just used for a ground type as well. But on top of that, I was also thinking of picking up a Dugtrio or a Diglett, but I thought people used that a little too often as well, so I didn't want, really want to ride that train right there. So we're going to take out Hiker Lenny right here and continue on down this cave. Now there's actually three trainers in this whole area right here. Keep running into the walls. Why do I keep doing that? But we're going to fight this Hiker. And I think this Hiker only has a few Pokemon on his team actually. He has three at that. And he's going to have two level 20 Onyxes and a level 20 Chiodu if I'm not mistaken. So. We're going to get that Intimidate right here, and Water Pulse should be able to take out this Onyx in one shot, unless that's sturdy, but I doubt it does. Nice. I'm happy Pokemon don't have sturdy in this game, because sturdy, one of those annoying abilities to deal with throughout a playthrough or walkthrough, or just a normal, uh, yeah, playthrough of a game if you're just playing through the story. Just because if they live with one HP, it's like, come on! Why do they have to live with 1 HP? Mostly a wild Pokemon. Dealing like level grinding and stuff, you're just wasting another move. And it's just, I don't know. I don't like sturdy in game. It's super, 
super annoying. But in competitive, Sturdy can be pretty useful, mostly if you're gonna use a Stealth Rock or a Sturdy. Uh, it definitely can live a turn and stop Stealth Rocks freely. So we're gonna take out the Psycho right here, pretty easily. Three ground types going down from Water Pulse, of course. And we're gonna continue down over here. I don't know, yeah, the trainer's right here. So we're gonna fight this hiker, and there's actually an item down there that we will pick up. So after that, we'll do that. And this hiker right here is gonna have two Pokemon on his team. He's gonna have a little, uh, a little bit of different of a Pokemon. A little bit different, not that much though. But he's gonna have a level 21 Geodude and a level 21 Graveler. So Graveler, a super good uh, ground type Pokemon. Mostly if you can't get Golem, he's still a pretty viable Pokemon that uh, you can use. I know when I played- oh no! The sound's glitching out there, I don't think that's happened throughout my playthrough yet. Um, that was just my program messing up, but... Uh, back to Graveler, I definitely did use him during my red, blue, and yellow playthrough. Um, not on my channel or anything, just casually by myself. And Graveler definitely held himself up for a while until he evolved into Golem later on. I think it was like right before the Elite Four, so he uh we used I used him throughout like the whole game. So we're gonna pick the pick up this item right here, an escape rope. Uh if you're having a little bit of trouble here and there in Rock Tunnel, you can definitely use that escape rope and uh get out of here. 